Welcome in. It's the recruiting roundup powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity. Scout.com's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. On this edition of the roundup, we're spotlighting linebackers heading into the 2015 season. And since the linebacker position, Jason, has really evolved, we've kind of separated into a few different categories, starting with more of the hybrid type of linebacker, one that puts their hand on the ground or is upright, but either way is rushing at the quarterback. Yeah, you know, a lot of with the with the spread offense a lot of these high schools are running, defenses are doing a lot of different things with their three-man front, you know, taking those outside linebackers, putting their hand on the ground. So I'm going to talk about three kids. First one I'm going to talk about is Dante Diaz and Fonte from Brophy. He's exactly that. He puts his hand down on the ground sometimes, drops into coverage at other times. One of the state's most heavily recruited linebackers that offer from Oregon State, from Hawaii, and from New Mexico. Dad played in the NFL for a long time, so obviously he's got very good bloodlines. Next guy I want to talk about down south and in Tucson, Jacob Shazik. He played DN on their uh, state championship team as a sophomore and was very, very good. Moved back last year, played more of a linebacker spot for Coach Panay in South Point and has multiple offers. Now he has seven Division I scholarship offers right now. Guy that I really like. And also, he could flip over. For, he's versatile enough that he could be a tight end or an H-back. The last guy I'll spotlight here in this hybrid category, Hamilcar Rashid at Cesar Chavez, one of the state's leaders in sacks last year, played some DN, played some outside linebacker. I think he finished with over 20 sacks last season. Yeah, that's incredible. Now, Jason, you mentioned how defenses have evolved, but there are still those true Mike backers out there, the ones that are like the quarterbacks of the defenses, and there's a few we want to spotlight that are out there. Yeah, these are the traditional run-stuffing, you know, more of a two-down type linebackers at the college level. That um, guy, first guy I want to talk about, going to be a junior, Brant Casey at Saguaro High School. Very good player. Again, only going to be a junior. All-conference player as a sophomore. Very impressive player for you know them in their state championship run. Then you look at Drew Dixon over Pinnacle. Him and Justin Mandrola make one of the better uh, linebacking cores um, in the state of Arizona. Dixon, another guy that's played on either side of the ball at eight touchdowns as a fullback. Very good linebacker. True Mike backer as well. Boston Sanders Centennial, one of my favorite players. I think he's one of those old school throwback type players. Really, really like him. He's very, very physical, runs, makes plays all over the field, like what Boston Sanders does a lot. Uh, KT Tallini, Chandler High School, another guy, runs all over the field, makes a bunch of plays. He stood out in that Centennial game uh, earlier in the year to me. And then the last guy I'm going to talk about on the west side, west side, Frankie Leal, Peoria. A little bit of a plugger, shorter guy. Uh, very, very good player uh, at Peoria High School. And a couple times on that list, you've used the word playmakers. And there's three more guys kind of in our playmaker category. These are guys that you could put them everywhere, and they're just going to get tackles and make plays all over the field. Yeah, first guy, Case Hatch at Peoria High School. You know, they were in that very tough section last year with Hamilton and Chandler. And he was one of the, he was the two-way player of the year, you know, in that conference. A very, very good player, which just speaks volumes for, for what he's able to do, you know, playing against that caliber, uh, you know, competition. Has an early offer from Adam State. And I think some more will come in for him. And when you talk about playmakers, look at uh, Chase Holbert at, at Liberty High School. Had over 100 tackles, and he had nine and a half sacks last year. Very, very impressive. Then at Mountain Point, Vavricks Owens, another guy that I really have a very big fan of. He's one of, the, one of their top returners on that defense that lost a bunch of guys from last year. Jason, there are two linebackers that did not play that position in 2014, but are in 2015, and they're going to make their presence felt very quickly. Yeah, uh, we talk about Walker Adams at Brophy High School. The reason he didn't play, he was injured. He was a very, very good linebacker as a sophomore, an all-section performer as a sophomore for Brophy. He'll be back and healthy. Has an early offer from Adam State, and I really liked him a lot You know, before he had the injury. Then we, we uh, move out to Desert Edge and Roshan Johnson. We've been talking about him since he was a freshman because he's been a starter on varsity as a running back. Coach Walbrecht's going to move him to middle linebacker and sees that as being his college position. So he's going to move him there for the last couple years as well as, you know, uh, platooning him and playing him uh, at running back as well. Finally, Jason, last one. Give me a small school guy that you have on your radar. Yeah, look at Willie Wyatt at Sholo High School. Had 80 tackles last year, had two sacks. Also a very good running back at over 1,300 yards. He's about six foot one, over 200 pounds, and it carries above a 4.0 GPA. Getting looked at by some of the Ivy League and some of the academy programs. Those are our linebackers. We'll do defensive backs next. Until then, that's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup Linebacker Spotlight, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity.